Shalom. Welcome to the Messianic Hour with Rabbi Scott Sekulow. The Messianic Hour is a program designed to give you insight into the Jewish roots of your faith. Rabbi Scott is also here to answer your questions and help you gain a deeper understanding of Bible prophecy. And now, here's your host, Rabbi Scott Sekulow. Shalom and welcome to another edition of the Messianic Hour. I'm your host, Rabbi Scott. This show is dedicated to reaching the lost and educating the found. And I'm here today with my wife, Judy, as we bring from the Word of God a Jewish and Gentile perspective of the Scripture. And you'll be in for a great treat. But what we're really going to be talking about this week is our trip to Israel. It was phenomenal. Now, you might have heard things going on in Israel. Matter of fact, why we were in the Gaza Strip the day before, the no, day after. the Golden Heights. The Golden Heights. The Golden yeah, we weren't Heights. in the Golden Gaza Strip. No. We were definitely not there. Thank you. Not on our tour. Golden Heights, We the day after we were there, uh, Syria and uh, Israel had some tank tr- uh, skirmishes there. What do you want to call that? Uh, a little battle going on. But we, when we were there, it was perfectly fine. And uh, it was great to see what was going on. We had a wonderful time. We're going to be talking about that on this trip. But... We have, Judy, we've been working really hard because when we got back from this trip, everyone was talking about it. The people who came on it just loved it. We've been working with our tour company. We already have our dates set for next year. We already are, have it ready to go. We're going to be talking about that on the show. And a matter of fact, the travel company is giving us for the first 22 people, I might be able to get them to 25, but at least 22 people, the same price as this year which is really unheard of because normally you have, you know, tax prices increases with gas and uh, the different things. But he is guaranteeing for the first 22 people to sign up, just all you have to do is uh, put your uh, $299 deposit down and you get that rate. After that, it's probably going to go up to about, uh, it was $39.99 or probably go to about $4,300, $4,400. So it'll be a great opportunity to, 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 to lock in that price. So we want to check that out. But Judy, you know, a lot's been going on. Uh, a lot's been going on in Israel. We're going to talk about that. And, you know, one thing everyone thinks about here is that when things are happening in Israel, it's different like wars that we're seeing in Iran and, and that because those go on forever. Once it's done in Israel, it's like back to normal. There's no, you know, there's no delay. And that's something that people have to worry about. You know, people worry about, oh, we're going to hear, you know, what's going on with Iran or the different situations. Once it's taking place, it's over. It's over. We had a good friend, Eric Tokager, who was there in November when the events were actually going on. And the next week, it was back to normal. That's right. And that's how Israel is. So sign up. It'll be a great trip. You can always get travel insurance if you're worried. And that will cover it. But it was a trip of a lifetime. We're going to talk about that when we get back. Also, remember, July the 27th, we're going to have Paul Wilbur in concert at Beth Adonai. You'll be able to watch it live streaming as well. A lot going on. If you want to be a part of this ministry, if you want to know more about the trip to Israel, go to our website, rabbiscott.com. Get, uh, log in, sign up for our newsletter. While you're there, remember we are a listener-supported show. You can donate right there online as well as we get ready for this. So stay tuned. When we get back, we're taking you to Israel. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Messianic Hour. Welcome to the Messianic Hour. I'm Judy Seculo, and I'm glad that you're watching us and listening to us today. And we're going a little different today. Normally, you know, we're going to, we've been taking you through Genesis, through all the different Parshas, showing you Messiah in them. And we wrap that up before our trip to Israel. And we told you, you were going to have a, um, a um, best of last Saturday because we were in the land, but we are back. We are basically over the jet lag. We had, yeah, we had a we had a little delay in Newark. There were storms on the eastern coast, yeah. so it took us a little longer to get back home than we thought. So it threw our whole plan. Usually we stay up that like 25 hours till you get home. Then you hit the bed. Then you're adjusted. But that two-and-a-half-hour delay in Newark kind of did us in. But yes. we're back. But, you know, it's it was a wonderful trip. We had a great group that went with us. 
We saw a lot. It was a wonderful time of year. The weather was perfect. And what, Judy, what was really neat, too, was the timing. You know, it's always hitting the timing is a, is a key part. And May for Israel, they had their largest May of tourism that they've ever had. But we went that, you know, I don't want to tell you when the, you know, the first couple of weeks in June, Europe is not out of school yet. And it's quiet. Mm-hmm. So you, you miss all the hoopla of the Passover and Shavuot. Shavuot. And it's that little quiet before the storm. We went to Bet Shean, which is the largest um, archaeological, archaeological site in Israel. I think it's in the world, too, that's still being done. And we were like the only people there. I mean, it was great. Our tour guide was phenomenal. And the importance of this was, we're already, like I said, we've already set the date for next year. It's June 9th through the 19th. It's a 10-day tour. And what's so great about this is that's going to give you actually a day off in the land, but you're going to see the land like through the eyes of Messiah. And, and that's really what's important. Well, and we call it a messianic exploration of the land of Israel. Um, you know, we don't do a lot of church sites. Um, he, our, our guide, Luik, likes to say, you know, if they... Found that that found out that that's something that actually happened there. Then they're going to build a church and put right. a rock that everybody can kiss. So we don't we don't do those. We but we you're going to stand where Yeshua stands. You're going to walk on the dirt that Yeshua walked on. Just well, don't kiss it. Exactly. <laughs> but it's it's important. We I mean we do go to like uh, Saint Anne's Church, which is a really neat church because of the acoustics, and that's right outside of the pool, uh, pool of Bethsaida. Sa- so we're going to see some of that. We're going to. We're going to t- do some of the walk of the Via Della Rosa, but we don't really focus in on that because they don't know where the exact spot is. And what we really want to focus in on is you learning about the Bible and having it come alive. You're going to go to places, you're going to see things, and it's going to really open your eyes to the Scripture. I think one of the neat stories, Judy, that when we were uh, in the land, we, t- we tell people that the Scripture says that God said, I will put my name on this city, being Jerusalem. And the name, his name in Hebrew is represented by the letter Shin, which if you want to try to figure out what it looks like, it kind of looks like out of, a little bit like a W. An avant-garde a, W. Yeah, that, yeah, the way it's written. And one of our guys was trying to see it, but then when you see the three valleys, you see, and especially when you have an overhead shot of Jerusalem, you actually see that God literally put his name on the land. So you're going to see that, see how it comes into play. You're going to experience it. We brought in Barry and Bacha Siegel, who are good mm-hmm. friends of ours. They have a great ministry there that works with distributing um, uh, humanitarian aid to both Jew and Arab, and they share the good news. They came and spoke to the group. In fact, the next day was their 26th wedding anniversary, and um, we, we really gave you an understanding of the land from a past, present, and future situation as well. In the second half of the show, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what's going on in Israel, what, what's going on down the road. Our good friend Bill Koenig, for those of you who have listened to the radio show for a number of years, you know Bill was uh, our mainstay when we had an hour-long show. He was usually on the second half. Bill was in Israel. We got together. We had a great time. Uh, we're going to be having him come on more uh, in the future as well. But he was telling us about what was going on in the situation. So we're going to look at that in the second half of the show. But Judy, I really want to focus in right now on this upcoming trip. And for people who are already who went on the last trip, they're ready to come on this one already. We've had, we had several that said, we're going back next year and we're going to bring our friends and our, our kids with us. In fact, right. we took our daughter. She's 12 now. And this was her second trip. She enjoys it. And the thing is, We've, we've, we've added, we've already got our itinerary set. We've right. added even new places. Yes. Some places that we haven't even been at before. So there's things that we, you know, we look forward to going every every time, of course. But there's even some new things that we're excited to go see. One of the things I'm like, you know, everyone, we always go to the Jordan and we do the mikvah service. And there's a, a the what I call the, co- the standard commercial site where everyone goes. Mm-hmm. But while we're going in, now remember, we've used Luik for a number of years. We're good no, he's been guiding him. for 30 plus 30, years uh, in the land. Yeah, which is good because he's only 37. So, That's <laughs> uh, Luik is a fantastic guy. He's a believer, which is important because he actually opens the scripture, reads it. 
if you've ever talked to someone who's gone to Israel, ask them if their guide was a believer or not. And I can tell you that if, they, if he wasn't a believer, they really didn't read the scripture. Louis gets in there and reads the scripture and brings it alive. And that's what's important. It makes my job so much easier. He does. Um, but when we go to these places, but he, we were driving into Jerusalem, and he said, you know, we go to the one site, but there's, do you really want to go to the site that it most likely actually happened with? And what we're talking about it's, is the mikvah, and the, when he was mikvahed. And when Yeshua was mikvahed in the Jordan River. And now, right. again, you don't know the exact place, but you do know that John the Baptist, John the mikvah, where he was, was kind of a man of the wilderness, a man of the desert. And this place is much more historically, the, biblically correct than the Jordan River site that's right in Tiberias. Right. So we're going to go there, and it has a place where you can, where you can uh, be emerged. So that's really neat. That's something different from the trip. Of course, going shopping, is a, we love to go shopping. And we don't take you to the tourist spots. We go where we know there are people that we know, and they know that if they give you a bad deal, they have to deal with us. And we've been dealing with them for many years. Danny Boy and Ben Yehuda Street, you know, those are the types of things that make a difference. But the one thing we I want to say, too, is we, we spend the first part of our trip in the Galilee area yes. around the city of Tiberias. You're going to go to Capernaum where Yeshua really lived out his ministry. Right. We're going to go to Chorazim, which is mentioned in the scriptures. Right. It was actually a city that was cursed. That's right. So we spend a lot of time in the Galilee area. Right. Um, you know, there are some tours that they actually start in Jerusalem and then kind of go to the Galilee and then leave. And, you know, Jerusalem is where you're always, all the songs, up to Jerusalem, go right. to Jerusalem, you know, go up to the mountain. And that's that's where your heart yearns right that's where you so we make jerusalem the end of our trip so you're, you're going to start off you're actually the one thing you have to do realize with us is we get you off the plane and we make you tour right when, you don't now, you don't get off the plane and get on the bus and go to your hotel we actually hit a couple of tour sites just because it's good to get out you stretch you're in the sun exactly you're getting your vitamin d that you need and then that also helps with the jet lag that's right and everyone said they didn't have any jet lag going over because we got That's them right. moving. We got them going. You, and we only went to two sites, two great sites. That's right. Um, Caesarea. Caesarea uh, Maritime. Time, and we went to Megiddo. Megiddo. So you get to see kind of where Paul was and where everything's going to happen at the end. <laughs> That's right. And uh, we had a great lunch there, too. And we found a wonderful hotel in Tiberias. We yes, have tried we did. so many different different hotels. Family-owned hotel. Family-owned is... hotel in Tiberias. We have tried so many different ones. Um, but we've really Clean. found one that we're very, very happy with right on the Sea of Galilee. We would wake up in the morning and open our blinds in our room, and here's the sun coming up over the mountain, over the Sea of Galilee, shining in our window. It was beautiful. You can morning. actually walk out. They have a pool there. You walk out to the terrace, and you can walk down and literally go right into the Sea of That's Galilee. Right. No other hotel has that. And the food. The food, oh my gosh, they had the best desserts. They I did. told everybody before we went, you know, you, you eat your words. I literally ate my words. Um, you know, oh, the desserts aren't that good because they're kosher. They don't, you know, they're not going to have, you're going to have meat dinners. So you're not going to have butter and chocolate and stuff like that in your desserts. They had some, some of desserts. the best desserts. They had this peanut butter, it, it tasted, it probably wasn't, but it tasted like a peanut butter chocolate baklava it sounds like we're going to eat our way through israel <laughs> well yes we do we do but you walk too so you eat and you walk your way through I, I, israel you know i've been losing weight i was very concerned about going on to israel and we did we definitely did not keep to the diet i only gained two tenths of a pound so i was pretty happy with that a lot of walking it is you know you got to move around some you drink a lot of water we're going to be going June 9th through the 19th. You can go to our website, rabbiscott.com. There's going to be a link on there so you can go ahead and sign up. The first 22 that sign up get this year's price, $39.99. That's round trip right now from Atlanta. If you're not in Atlanta, we can get you to the place as well. That's not a problem. Check it out. Email us at mail at rabbiscott.com if you have any questions. When we get back, we'll be looking more at the Israel trip and what's going on in the Middle East. Stay tuned. You're listening to the Messianic Hour. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome back to the Messianic Hour. I'm your host, Rabbi Scott. The show is dedicated to reaching the lost and educating the found. I'm here with my wife, Judy, as we come to you each week via the airwaves and via the TV and Internet now. We are on the Roku box. We also have our uh, YouTube, Vimeo, Cross TV, uh, Twitter, Facebook, you multiple, name it. Multiple avenues. Multiple How about avenues. That? <laughs> if you can't find us, you're just not looking. We have apps for both the... Uh, iPhones and the Android, so check that out. Search Rabbi Scott Secula or the Messianic <laughs> Hour and pull that right up. And we've been talking about what's going on in Israel, our Israel trip coming up June 9th through the 19th. That's next year, 2014. If you go ahead and put down your deposit now, 299 you are guaranteed this year's Rate our our tour company who has set it up is saying they'll do this for the first twenty two people. You will not have to pay an increase, even if the rates go up. You're locked in at this year's prices, which is phenomenal because they always go up at least two three hundred dollars. Plus, we've added some places as well, so this is a great some places, opportunity. Some places we've changed. You know, we always some every time we go, we added like six, right, seven. Well, we, we took some things out. Right. We always add add and subtract and Right, but we we got we added quite a few places. Yes, but with some neat places. Mm-hmm. And And also, there's one thing that we did on this trip. We fulfilled prophecy by we this happened. Planted trees in Israel. That's right. <laughs> we did that and that And was you can really, plant a tree in Israel. Right. Matter of fact, if you want to plant you don't have to go to Israel to plant it. All you need to do is contact us and go to our website, rabbiscott.com. You can plant a tree in Israel. It's a for a twenty-five dollar donation. We will plant a tree. You get a beautiful certificate that you can do it in memory of someone or in honor, and it's a great way to mark the occasion. I think Judy, you took a couple pictures too, which you're saying you might want to see. We might switch out our backdrop picture to that. You had some really good shots. So we're gonna be taking a look at that. We had one person on the trip that I kid you not took. 10,000 10, pictures. But it's really not hard when you go the first time. It's not. You can you can click away and... Of course, what, what, we really had both ends of the spectrum. We had the person who took 10,000 pictures. You know, thankfully, digital cameras, you can do that nowadays. So 1,000 pictures a day. And then we had the one person who thought she could get by with eight disposable, disposable cameras. 32 exposure cameras. I think it lasted her the first day she was done. So <laughs> we ended up buying her a camera in the land... Which but, actually wasn't as expensive as you would no. have thought, but so, yes, you bring a digital camera. So you can take those pictures and remember, it's a trip of a lifetime. But what's going on in Israel right now? That's probably what's on a lot of y'all's mind. You're hearing the news, <coughs> situation in Iran. They have a new uh, president. He's a moderate. What does that mean? Absolutely nothing. Why? The president of the country really <coughs> is just a puppet for the Shah of Iran. He's the one who calls the shots. So while you have a moderate in there, we're not going to see a big difference with what's going on in the government. The decisions are made by their uh, religious heads, and he's the one who's making the the plan. So uh, Israel is basically saying, don't think you're going to see big changes there. The big problem is they're coming up within the next two months to that red line and Israel's going to have to make a decision. The United States has to make a decision as well. Our president is showing that he is more in favor of letting Israel make that stance. But again, remember, things will happen there, and then everything goes back to normal. Well, and here's the thing. One thing we did, and we, you know, we said we went up on the Golan Heights. We went to Mount Bentel. And when you're at Mount Bentel, you're there. You're I mean, the you see the UN village. And then you you see it. So it really makes you understand that Israel's very tiny compared to everything else. I really don't think you can appreciate the news, your 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 the stories in your Bible until you've been there. You know, I was talking this weekend at the congregation. You had me come up and share. wasn't really planning on it. So you know, I guess God said whatever I want it he wanted me to say because I I didn't have anything prepared but I said you know when you teach kids nowadays it's it's multi-sensory 
You want the hearing, the eyes, the hands, the touch, right. the feel. The more senses you get involved, the better the learning is going to be, you know, the more it imprints into the brain. Well, by going to Israel and standing in, standing on top of the remains of the synagogue in Capernaum where Yeshua taught and opening your Bible and reading it there in that synagogue, right. seeing the mountains, seeing the Sea of Galilee, feeling the wind blowing on your face. Guess what? You can't get much more multisensory than that. Exactly. You really and, can't. And it really does come alive. And the places we go are really important places where you're going to see it and understand and really feel the cultural aspect of it. But like you said, we also take you to Mount Bentel. Not really mention the scripture, but the importance of that is to see where how close the you know the 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 enemies are to Israel. On the other side of that mountain, you said on one side you have Syria, UN, and then Syria. On the other side, there's a kibbutz, and, and so it really gives you an understanding of it. Uh, we did see there was a skirmish there the next day. Here's the thing: people only have because to we happened to listen to the news that right. night. I mean, but we didn't know otherwise. That people have to understand the travel companies, the tour guides, are in constant contact with the government. And if there's anything going on, they wouldn't let us there. They would they would have uh, blocked off the area. So uh, your the safety is really not an, a, a concern. They're there. What we're hearing though is the situation going on in Syria. Syria is trying to get Israel into their civil war. This would kind of change the dynamics of it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <clears throat> kind of left over from the trip. We got yes. a little cold. Um, but that Syria is trying to get Israel involved, and that's why they went into the Golan Heights, is to try to drag them into the situation to kind of change the focus of it. Israel's smarter than that. But what Israel's having to watch out for is how, what, you know, government, you know, the you have, you know who your enemy is with the, uh, rebels, there are terrorist groups involved with that, and that's why our president's really having to do a fine line. And I give him a lot of credit for handling this and not trying to just to jump in because you really got to know who all the players are in this situation. And we do need to pray for it and <coughs> pray for the land. Well, you know, they always say to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And to do that, there's nothing like praying for Jerusalem when... You're there. You know, one of the things we always do is we go to Jerusalem on Shabbat. We go to the Western Wall on Shabbat. And we always give everybody one, two, three opportunities to go to the wall and pray at the wall. And, you know, there really there really is something about being there. Mm -hmm. There is a yeah, it's it's almost like it is the closest place on earth to to I don't know. Holy right. Um so there's there's very there is a very special significance to do there. So to be able to go to Jerusalem and to pray at the wall, to pray for your family, to pray for the state, to pray for your leaders right. really has a special significance. So we really want to encourage you June 9th through the 19th of next year we already 2014. have We already have it set in stone. We have the dates. We've confirmed it with the company. They're doing something that they don't have to do, but they want to honor, and, and uh, they really appreciate Matter of fact, the owner of the company is an Orthodox Jewish man, and uh, he, uh, he, he got contacts from people that are saying they loved our trip, and so he's honoring this year's price. He doesn't know what it's going to cost next year. He, one thing he does know, he said it will be more than this year, but for the first 22, I'm trying to get 25 people. I think he'll go for it. Who sign up, they get this year's price. So they don't. There's no price increase. That's going to save you three, four hundred dollars. It'll be a great opportunity. Go to our website, rabbiscott.com. You'll have the. Our, we'll have the sign up sheet there. You can let us know. Email us at mail at rabbiscott.com. Check it out. We're going to be talking about more about Israel in the future. But check out the itinerary. It, it's you're going to be seeing a lot. You're going to enjoy the land. But you're really going to get a great understanding of what goes on there. I want to encourage you again, go to the website, rabbiscott.com. While you're there, sign up for our newsletter. We'll be giving you more information via the Internet on the upcoming trip. You'll be able to see pictures and get the information to sign up. Remember, we are a listener-supported show, so you can help us share the gospel. We're now on Roku, Vimeo, God TV, Cross TV, and YouTube, all because people like you are helping us 
to share the good news of our Messiah to both Jew and Gentile. We want to encourage you to get involved and get, go with us next year. Next year in Jerusalem, you have that opportunity. Judy, and until next week, this is Rabbi Scott. And Judy. Saying shalom and pray for the peace of Jerusalem.